Welcome to the Chiefs way. Now mash that subscribe button or drop it, give me 50. Okay, YouTube, this is part two of how to convert the Harbor Freight solar panels to a uh, MC4 connector, okay? Now the Harbor Freight briefcase solar panel comes with a, this adapter, which goes from SAE to eight millimeter to plug into your Jackeries and the other uh, solar controllers. But since we have now converted, okay? Since we now have converted our panel to MC4, we can no longer connect this in. So we're gonna have to convert this, okay? We're gonna have to convert this to MC4 also, okay? But on, I told you in the last video that the source hot, which is coming from the panel, is always going to be red, right? The red source hot is always gonna be on the male connector, okay? But in this case, we're gonna plug it into this. The red needs to now be the female connector so it can plug into this, okay? So when we cut this, we're gonna put, we need to make sure we put the, the female connector on the red line and the male connector on the black line for our extension cable or our adapter. So let's get started. Okay, we got our wire cutters and strippers again. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut off our SAA connector and put it to the side. We're gonna separate our wires, okay? All the way down to the connector so we get some room, okay? And we're gonna start with the female connector. So we need the female connector and the male pin because the male pin goes to the female connector and the female pin goes to the male connector. Okay, so I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna strip a little wire back. Okay. Twist it down. And okay, we're gonna, now we're gonna take our, our pin, okay? And the round portion of the back of our pin is gonna go into this little round portion on the bottom and then the legs are gonna go up into the top area. So let me turn this around so you can see. See the round area is on the bottom, okay? And the legs extend up into the top. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our wire, put it in there so it's touching. It's touching, the, the insulation is touching the, the pin and we're gonna squeeze down and crimp it down. Okay, since this wire is smaller than 10 gauge, we're gonna move it to the outside one. I'm gonna put it in there. I'm gonna slowly squeeze to get it to go up in there. And once it's up in the slot, I'm gonna finish the crimping it. And then it's always stuck. So we're just gonna take the pin and I just take it out. Okay, so now we've inserted our male pin. Okay, so we can take our female connector, remove the cap, okay, and we'll slip the cap over our pin. Okay, take our rubber part. Remember, rubber part goes into the connector. So we put it over our pin. Now we're gonna slip our male pin into our female connector and we're gonna listen for that click. Oh, I'm going in the wrong end. All right, turn around. Okay, it's in there. Okay, it's in there, it's not coming out so we can uh, screw down our cap. Got our rubber piece going in there. We're gonna take our two wrenches, okay? First wrench goes through the center slot area, okay? Second wrench, the round portion, is gonna go over the wire and onto with the slots, and we're gonna do it till we hear a couple clicks, okay? Those clicks are the teeth of our wrench, these teeth, slipping over these slots when it's tight enough. Okay, now we're gonna repeat the process for the other side. 
So now we're going to use the female pin and the male connector. So we'll strip our wire back just a little bit. Okay, twist it up. Okay, set that down. Get our crimper. Okay, insert the round part of the pin on the bottom and the other two legs go up into the slot. Okay, turn it over. Put our wire in there so it's touching the, the, the pin. Crimp it down. Okay, now we're going to rotate it over and we're going to put it in the smaller section. So, I want to keep it straight. Okay. Squeeze it, tighten it down, pop it out. And now we're going to put our cap over top of our pin, rubber portion over top of our pin. Remember, the rubber portion goes in the connector. Now we're going to push it down into the connector. Listen for the click. There, didn't get it in far enough. All right, so now we put our cap on, tighten it down, and grab our wrenches. Two clicks, okay, and we're done. Now we've converted our eight millimeter adapter to MC4. So we can go ahead and hook it up to Okay, we can go ahead and hook it up to our panel okay so the male connector from the panel goes into the female connector on our adapter cable and the black female portion connector of our panel goes into the male connector of our adapter and now we can go ahead we can plug that into any of our solar generators. All right, thanks YouTube. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Bye-bye.